there are two charges located at distances from each other. And we've arbitrarily chosen a place called P. Um, and that's located at a various place from those two charges. And we're going to say that the, the value of the electric field there okay, is going to be equal to uh, zero at that position. So it's our job then to find the value okay, of charge Q2. And uh, we'll just use the superposition principle to find that value. But the first question is, what is the sign of charge Q2? And justify your answer. Well, if electric field is zero, then we need to get uh, electric field vectors in two different directions. And we see that the negative 3 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs is the value for charge 1. Therefore, you know, we will assume a positive test charge located at P. That will be attracted okay, to value uh, of Q1. Therefore, we need a repulsion then from Q2 to go in the opposite direction to cancel things out to zero. Therefore, we can assume the sign of the charge then has to be a positive value. So we'll record a positive value okay, here for that. And we need to calculate the charge of uh, Q2. So here we will apply the superposition principle. We know the electric field resultant has got to be equal to zero. So then that will be a sum of the electric fields listed here. Okay, so let's get the electric field because of uh, charge Q1. Well, we're only uh, 0.1 meters away from that. So we'll say that equals, we'll go 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by charge Q1's value, which is 3 times 10 to the minus 9, 3 times 10 to the minus 9, all over the distance squared, and the distance was 0 0.10 squared. Now we need to subtract or add that, so we have to decide uh, right now what's going on there. Well, that Q1 is negative, and we'll attract it to the right, so that's going to be a positive value. And then Q2 will be repelling it in that direction, so we're going to have to subtract that, so I'm going to have to go minus. Uh, see, I don't have much room there, so I'll write it down here. So it'll be 9 times 10 to the 9th, okay, multiplied by Q's value, which we actually don't know, and that's Q2. Okay, and we need to divide that by the total distance, okay, and that's 0.4, so 0 0.40 squared. Okay, and again, we know all of this is zero. So then solving for Q, and I guess I write the answer right, Q, Q is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs. Okay, and let's make sure we know where the 0 0.4 comes from. We've got 0 0.2 to 0, and then another 0 0.2 to get to where P's location is. So now we have the value okay, for the charge right there. Now we can you know, calculate other things in this. And the next one says calculate the magnitude and direction of the electric force, okay, acting on charge Q2. So since we know Q1's value and Q2's value, we can just do the force electric equation. Force electric equals 9 times 10 to the 9th. We'll multiply that by uh, Q1's charge, which is 3, times 10 to the minus 9. Multiply that by 4.8 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, and we need to divide that okay, by the distance between the two charges, which is going to be 0 0.30. And we'll square that. Again, where does the distance come from? We have 0.2 to there, another 0.1 there, and it gives you the 0.3. And the force electric is going to be 1.4. So right there, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. Okay, now what about the direction involved? Well, we want the direction of charge Q2. Okay, they are opposite charges. Therefore, charge Q2 will be attracted to the left. So we can label the direction as left or west, whichever one that you actually you know, want. It doesn't matter. 